Um, I spent a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of time in the last 30 days or so considering what our actions are regarding the future of Gates County Line. And I thought about it, and I said from the beginning that we needed a line. And I still say, uh, the new library in Gates County is for the citizens of Gates County. Therefore, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we advise LS3P to conclude their design, move forward with the bid documents, and all other steps that are necessary to make this project move forward. This motion also includes instructions for the finance director to compose, release their request for proposals for the financing of the new Gates County Library. But I also want to put a cap on this library of not spending no more than 1.5 million. That is a gracious plan. I feel like we can get it cheaper than that. And with the design that they have already, if they cannot, when the bids come in, that uh, somebody with the architecture firm is going to have to re redo some things, redraw some things to keep it in that bid. Okay, we've got, Mr. Chairman. We, we, we've got a motion on the table. Discussion. Uh, uh, we have a discussion. I would like to say, <clears throat> um, if we can postpone here, I'll be glad to make a presentation to this public today with what I have. That I, and, and I respect what Kenny said. Don't get me wrong. I made a motion last time to approve $975,000. Nobody wanted to take on it. But there's some pertinent data out here and statistical data that shows what we're dealing with. We can ignore it or whatever, but I respectfully ask that it be presented to the public so that you can make yep. your own determination, yep. not after the fact. So <clears throat> I don't have any problem with the motion. Let's wait until the October 1 if we're going to do this. But I want the public to see, and it's going to be seen. You can put me on the agenda for tonight meeting to make this presentation. But I am not moving forward on anything of any magnitude until it's weighed upon the public. With you spending in your dollars? Yep. Absolutely Amen. not. Amen. Uh, I'm not trying to ramrod this thing or, or do it, but I'm going to tell you, from a business perspective, as Mr. Green said some months ago, all the facts need to be on the table, and they are not on the table. <clears throat> now, if we want to postpone here for about 30 minutes, I'll go get the equipment and we'll put it on the screen now. <clears throat> and we'll present it mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. I wasn't going to do that, but I am going to do it at the night meeting. So we can do what we want to. Now, I had the motion of $975,000 cap. That's what was presented in the paper to the public. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And even those numbers are suspect with the usage factors, and, and as was stated here, and it's rightfully so. This is about things that are checked out of the library, DVDs, newspapers, books, etc. what a conventional library is being used for. It is not about people that generally walk into the library and use the computer or socialize or just read something. Mm -hmm. There are some statistics on that, and I'm one of those statistics that own that paper. This is not fair to the citizens of Gates County. They need to be presented with the facts. If we don't want to vote on it, don't want them to vote whether they want it or not, and we don't want to survey anybody because Oh, they might not know what they really want. Mm -hmm. Now, don't insult the intelligence of people like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's absolutely don't make sense. You're either for it or against it, or it's a good, sane business decision. But let's do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Let's don't shove it down somebody's throat. Yep. That's not the way you do things. You get all of the feedback 
you get the input before you do things. We've already dispersed or committed to $73,000 that was unnecessary. Yes. Nine. We also have several things. I read to you a letter last week, about at the time of the letter to Mr. Chapel here on week 14, with their concerns about where it was being built at. I share those very same concerns. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you this, and I'm going to show it to you. So I'm going to tell you the facts, and I'm going to present them to you next time. There is only 10.12% of the public in Gates County. On average, that has used a library in the last two years. 845 people on average went into the library and checked out a book or something. 845, 10.12% of the people in Gates County, I mean of the voters in Gates County. I found out last night my number is a little low. I was using 8350, they told me it's 8650. So even that number is high now. There are, there are 703 people that have registered in the library, and once they registered, never went back. Wow. Now these are dispersed over 10 years. There are, right now, uh, as we, we speak, those 845 people made, uh, in a two year average, was 56,000 transactions around roughly 28,000 transactions a year. So in other words, 28,000 books. It came to our current operating expense, $3.12 for every transaction. We spent $104 per person. Jeez. There is 4,898 card holders that have a barcode. 703 never went back. There is 4,599 4, people that are Gates County residents that hold a card. Only 4,195 of those people have actually ever been to the library after they got the card. That's it. Now, Bertie County has a library with 4,132 square feet. And this thing, while you might correct me the day you went got it, I'm basing on my memory, but I'm pretty close. I think I'll remember that one exactly, 4132. Herford County, 5,000. 6,000 in Northampton County, and we want 8,100 square foot. The average square foot per person for that library is 0 0.19 to 0 0.22. Ours, 0.66. Square feet per person, man. Perfect County, Northampton County, and Bertie County have over 20,000 people in their county. We have 12,197 based on the 2010 census. And I can't remember the dollar cost in my head right now. That's on the screen. But think about it. If only 10.12% of the voters are actually using the library, does the 80-20 rule apply here? Does it? <laughs> that don't make sense. Now, if you, the citizen, and it's your tax dollar, stand up and say yes to what you want, yeah, let's go. Right behind you. But you have the right to decide, not me. Amen. I will not spend your tax dollars unwisely. I will not. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. so, in, all, in all respect, my granddaughter, my wife brings her to the library, and I appreciate that dearly. I love my granddaughter very much so. We deserve a library. We need a library. But there are some other options to do this. And there are economical options. We've got a courthouse sitting across the road here that we have got to do something about. It. One way or the other, what are we going to do? Are we going to tear it down? Are we going to renovate it? What are we going to do? 